after an unbelievable victory, total knockout of Avraham Avinu and one extra soldier, Eliezer, his slave, on the four kings, a huge army, came king of Sodom with a beautiful suggestion to Avraham Avinu, I gonna take the people and you gonna take the loot, all the money, all the possession from that you got from the war. Avraham Avinu gave a total refuse. No, I don't agree. Even a shoelace I'm not going to take, Abraham Avinu said. And what he did said, he said, I raise my hand to Hashem, to God, the one who acquired heaven and earth. And Unculus explained to us, translated, Aramit Yadibit Siluk Adam Hashem. I daven to Hashem. That's mean it's not because of me. It's not because of my abilities or strength. But everything is because of the davening. Because we didn't have any weapons, Avram said. What they did, we know the Midrash said, they lift sand, threw it in the air, and through the davening of Avram Avinu, Hashem make each sand pebble like a missile, an arrow, an old age, but way better tomahawk, that they was able to win the war. So let's try to understand the importance and power of davening. True story that's happened in the year of Tafshin Lamed Zayn, 1977 to their count. The government of Israel want to pass a law that will allow, God forbid, to do abortions. The minister of justice, of judgment, was in, the, in that time Shmuel Tamir. They decided to send a group of rabbis to try to speak with him, to make it not happening, it's against religion. In this group of rabbis were Rabbi Michel Stern, Rabbi Rafael Levin, the son of Rabbi Ayel Levin, the rabbi of the prisoners, and he was loved on all the Etzel and Lehi people, and this person, Minister of Justice, was one of them. Two days before of the meeting, Rabbi Rafael Levin called to each one of the rabbis that's supposed to go to the meeting and said, we must start daven and shake the world with davening because we don't know what's going to happen. We must daven. In the time of the meeting, when the minister heard that the son of Rabbi Ari Levin was there, he said, please, please, I want you to speak. They agree. And Rabbi Rafael Levin said, I'm going to start with a story that's happened with my father many years ago. And he said that some, a couple came and knocked on the door and when the rabbi, Rabbi Ari Levin, Zichon Levach, opened the door, he saw a religious couple. And there was a question on the table. The woman was pregnant, but the husband was learning to become a doctor. And he didn't want to have the child. It's going to be too problematic. He's not going to be able to study well. It can sabotage the whole future of the family. And the wife disagreed. We must have the child. We cannot do an abortion. The rabbi spoke with them for very long, very nicely, loved conversation and words that come from the heart, was able to penetrate the heart, and the husband changed his opinion. Rabbi Rafael Levin looked upon the minister and told him, out of few months, a baby came to the world, and you know what his name? His name was Shmuel Tamir. The minister was shocked, that was his name. He called to his mother and asked, what's going on? And the mother said, the story is truth, 100%. Please understand us, it was very difficult times, but the rabbi, because of him, and that we didn't do the abortion, you are here today. And the minister said to the group of rabbis, as long as I'm in this government, this law not gonna pass. True story. After the meeting, the rabbis, went to Rabbi Rafael Levin asked him, you knew about this story, why did you call us and make us put all these flyers and start davening all around and shackle the world? You know that we have this winning story. And the rabbi said, story here, story there, it doesn't make a difference how good it is. Without the davening, it would not reach its goal and what we try to get. Have a beautiful Shabbat, Parashat Lech Lech Anachat Ruach. Don't forget the power of davening. Even if you think it didn't come yet, but everything is heard by Hashem. Nachat Ruach Klal Yisrael. Shabbat Shalom.